Hello everyone, today we are going to perform polygon staining and the aim of this experiment is to cytochemically demonstrate the presence of DNA in the phyllid blepharisma using polygon reaction. The material required are carnoid spit phyllids on slides, distal water, one normal HCL, Schiff's reagent, grades of alcohol, xylene, DPX, cover slips, forceps, and microscope. The principle behind this staining depends on, is that it depends on the properties of nucleic acid components or nucleotides. DNA can be studied by the means of various reactions uh, like the technique developed by Folgen and Rosenbeck. The deoxyribose sugar present in DNA is responsible for Folgen reaction. The fixed cells are first subjected to selective mild hydrolysis to remove the RNA and then treated with the Schiff's reagent. The property of this reagent to form a magenta complex with aldehyde group is the basis of this reaction. This reaction basically takes place in two steps. The first step is acid hydrolysis remove the purine bases at the level of purine deoxyribose glycosidic bond of DNA and unmask the aldehyde group of deoxyribose. The second step is the three aldehyde, aldehyde groups then react with the Schiff's reagent, a watery colorless stain that turns into magenta and give color to the DNA. This color is then uh, measured by the microdensometer or microspectrophotometer to quantify the amount of DNA present in the sample. This is the chemical reaction uh, behind the staining. The first, we, uh, first is the DNA, then we treat it with the one normal HCl. It's converted into depurinated DNA. When we add Schiff's reagent to it, it gives a magenta color complex. The role of acid hydrolysis is it helps in removing the purine bases and unmask the aldehyde group and it also removes the histone proteins which are associated with the DNA. The procedure which we follow in the staining is centrifuge the cells to obtain the cell pellet, then fix the cell pellet into the carnoid fixative for 20 minutes. Place the carnoid fixed cells on the slides, then downgrade this fixed material to water. Hydrolyze the hydrated material using one normal HCl at 60 degrees Celsius for 7 to 9 minutes. Then wash the slides with the distilled water to remove the traces of acid. After that, we stain the slides in the ship's reagent for 25 to 30 minutes. Wash the stained slides in running tap water, rinse in distal water and upgrade from 30% alcohol to absolute alcohol and then acetone. Finally, we clear it in xylene and mount the slides in DPX. This is the protocol which we follow to prepare the folgen stain and below that is the procedure which we follow to prepare the carnoise fixative. To prepare the carnoid fixative, we use 3 ml ethanol plus 1 ml glacial acetic acid and then add cells to this fixative and fix for 20 minutes. This is the flow chart showing the protocol of polygon staining.
after performing the whole staining procedure we will come to some results and observation a nucleus of the ciliated protozoan will stain magenta and the cytoplasm will remain unstained uh, this is how our cell will look like under the 100x and 400x lenses and this is the blepharismus cell stained with pollen stain and here are some precautions which are needed to be followed during performing this experiment the first one is all the steps involved must be performed carefully and systematically the slides must be handled only from the mark that the temperature of hcl should not be more than 60 degrees celsius the time of exposure to hcl should be checked by staining one slide first the time will depend on the preparation of a normal hcl solution uh, the over hydrolysis causes uh, depolymerization of dna and the under hydrolysis will cause unspecific staining of cytoplasm check the slides under the microscope after differentiation in what tap water if there is some amount of non specific staining in cytoplasm then rinse the slide in 70% alcohol prior to upgrading thank you